So let's now look at trig equations, but using radians as our angle measure instead of degrees. So we're going to see the same sorts of questions we saw before, but the difference is instead of saying x goes between 0 and 360 was the common one, we'll see x goes between 0 and 2 pi. Now it's important that you answer the question in whatever measure they're using in the question. So in this one, I have to give my answer in radians. Okay, well, solving it's the same as we normally do. So rearrange this, we get minus root three on two, one of our exact values. So I know that's in the third or the fourth quadrant. Uh, the acute angle then would be, well, pi on three. Now I gotta admit, I still think in degrees. So when I see root three on two, in my head, what I'm doing is I'm saying, oh, well, root three on two, that's 60 degrees, but then I do a conversion. 60 degrees is pi on three. So my acute angle is pi on three. Now in the third quadrant, well, the third quadrant was 180 plus the acute angle. So now it'll be pi plus the acute angle. The fourth quadrant was 360 minus the acute angle. So now we have two pi minus the acute angle. And we end up with two answers, four pi on three, five pi on three. And we have ones like this, 10 squared equals three. Well, that means in this case, plus or minus root three for 10 X. So we're actually in all four quadrants. The acute angle, uh, root three, once again, it's an exact value. And actually this one is 60 degrees as well. 60 degrees is pi on three. So they're gonna get four answers, the acute angle, pi minus the acute angle, pi plus the acute angle, two pi minus the acute angle. So there's all our answers. Pi on three, two pi on three, four pi on three, five pi on three. Cos squared plus cos equals two. Well, this is the one we can treat like a quadratic. What multiplies together to give negative two adds together to give one. Yeah, that factorizes nicely. So either cos x is negative two or cos x is one. Well, that's interesting because of course, cos x equals negative two, there are no solutions. Remember the, the range of the cosine function is minus one to one. So the first part won't produce any solutions. Cos x equals one, well, that's actually one of our boundary values. So it's going to be zero. But remember, whenever zero is a solution, 360 is a solution. But when we're talking about radians, whenever zero is a solution, two pi is a solution. So overall, we get two answers, zero or two pi. Four sec squared equals 310x plus five. This is where we started using our trig identities because we've got two different pronumerals, if you like. We've got sec x and we've got tan x. But the sec squared I can change into tan squared. Now, sec squared is one plus tan squared, so four sec squared is four plus four tan squared. Again, we end up with a quadratic. What multiplies together to give, ooh, well, in this case, it'll be negative four, wouldn't it? Because we haven't got a monic. Um, Okay, yeah, no, that still factorizes nicely. So we get four tan x plus one, tan x minus one. Two possibilities, tan x is negative a quarter and tan x is one. Tan x is negative a quarter. That's gonna be in the second and the fourth quadrant because tan's negative. Uh, the acute angle, now it's not an exact value. So I'm using an approximation here. I've done it the three decimal places. Uh, 0.245 radians. Make sure your calculator is in radius. The biggest mistake is people leaving it in degrees. Second quadrant, pi minus the acute angle. Fourth quadrant, two pi minus the acute angle. Remember, pi is 3.14, etc., 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 and we get x is 2.897 or 6.038. Now let's do tan x equals one. First quadrant or the third quadrant, this time we do have an exact value and our exact value is pi and four. So that would be our first quadrant answer. Our third quadrant answer would be pi plus that. So five pi and four. Summarize our answers. Now you'll notice the ones I knew the exact value for, I left as an exact value. So I've left them as pi and four and five pi and four. Uh, whereas the approximations I've left as 2.897 and 6.038. Sine two X is one on root two. Well, if X is in between naught and two pi, two X is between naught and four pi. So we're going around the circle twice. We're in quadrants one and two for this one. The acute angle, 
It's an exact value, pi on four. So we get two possibilities, pi on four, three pi on four, but that's when we're going around the circle once. We've got to go around twice. So we add two pi to both of these, and we get nine pi on four and 11 pi on four. But that's an answer for two X. We want an answer for X. Divide everything by two, and we end up with four answers, and they're all in between naught and two pi. Okay, so 11H is a recap of trig equations, but now using radians instead of degrees.